G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Back up the creek again chasing a few bass. Now I've got the Bassman Spinnerbaits products again. Gonna give them a good run this time. Had a bit of a dabble last video. Didn't quite get the results I was after. A lot of hard work went into that one just for that one fish, but same deal. I'm gonna run that little 3 8 ounce football head, little football jig there. Uh, I'm gonna put a little gulp trailer on that. I still don't think it's quite time for the jig bite. That water's still really cold. But this system I'm in, I know they eat the jig here. They eat a lot of shrimp, um, yabbies and stuff. You know, they always cough up shrimp out of this system. So it's always a good bait to have. Still not sold on the water temps being up to where they need to quite be, but um, definitely gonna give that guy a run. Just quickly, the combo I use for my jig fishing is gonna be my Lou's Speed Stick Light Custom, 10 to 20 pounds, six foot 10, with my Mark Crush 1, 7.5 to one gear ratio. So I pick up that slack really quick Fish start swimming off with your jig, crank down on him, set that hook, drive it home. That's the setup. All right, so the second bait I'm gonna be fishing, it's just a bladed jig. Now, Bassman, they, they call it a mumbler, 3 8 ounce mumbler. This is the one I fished the other day. It's already kitted out with a little trailer. Um, I'm gonna change the color this session. I'm gonna go for something that imitates more of the, the shrimp, the crayfish, uh, you know, like a darker color. Uh, I'll run this lighter color through winter typically, just to mimic the uh, forage fish that are kicking around. Um, that's just my six foot 10, Six to 10 pound, lose speed stick light custom, lose TPG 1H. I'm running 19 pound braid, 12 pound leader. Yeah, so I, I do tweak this bait a little bit once it comes out of the box. Uh, I'll give you a look at one, how it is, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing just to, just to get it the way I like to fish it. So out of the box, you can see, comes rigged with a little stinger hook, and it's kept on with a little glow bead there. Now that's fine, you know, it's, it, it hangs just clear of the skirt, so that's good for short strikes. Good in the way I see it, more of your empowerments, you know, fish in a tournament, you know, Bassman Spinnerbaits, they make a lot of quality products that, that the guys in the bass tournaments utilize. You've got to make every bite count in that situation. The way I fish them in the creeks here, I don't have to pin every fish, you know, like I still catch my share and I do prefer to run that big trailer, you know, just something there, that extra movement. So I'll just show you what I do just to get it from that to that. So it's just a matter of removing that glow bead, get him out of the way. That stinger hook comes off. So I'm just gonna run that little creature bait trailer, a little shrimp, little yabby, little crayfish pattern, and just throw that straight on the uh, on the mumbler. There we go. Nice little natural brown yabby imitation. The other thing I like to do to this bait too, just when I got it out of the box, I had a quick look at the blade, the way it's configured, and I just like to put a little roll on it. Just bend that blade back a touch, just put a bit of kick on it. This helps it brush through, come over logs, through the twigs, through that brush. I believe it helps a little bit, just to give it that extra little bit of something. All right, I'm just gonna start out with that mumbler. It's the middle of the day, it's 11.30. It's uh, gonna be picking this shade to pieces. So hopefully we draw one out. So you can see here, depending on what kind of spots I've got to cast, how much room I've got to work with, I'll just chop and change between that bladed jig and then the football jig, the mumbler and the uh, little jig with that little gold crabby craw. You can see I can just drop it straight down into this water here. I don't need to cast, I don't need to wind or retrieve it, I can just put it down if the fish is there, you know, I can come over and just pick that up. Thing is, if something grabs it there, it's on. How good does this look? Like, it, look at this. This is just epic water. It's got to pull a bass out of it. Just 
I'll catch a fish, man. How does it get in the ass? I reckon there's one in here. Just can I get it to eat? Come on. Just to eat that. So I'll always fish what's in front of me first. Like I know the key spot's gonna be that edge of that rock. There's current come around, ambush point, or that other side. But you drag a fish from there to here, you're gonna spook whatever's here. So I'm gonna have a couple casts here and then hit that uh hit that prime spot. Man, that's the spot. It's 12.38, it's the middle of the day. It's a bloody good chance that there's fish in all these pools that just aren't quite keen to feed yet. Oh, they're just playing hard to get. You can see there's plenty of rock up here, like football head's probably the, the best option for this sort of stuff right now. Just need to find a fish, man. They're killing me. Might have to change the bait. I haven't had a touch on this color. Oh, they're doing my head in. Man, it's tough. It's been two hours, it's like one o'clock. I haven't had a hit, I haven't had a touch, I haven't seen a fish or looked like getting a touch. No swirls, no nothing, no follows. I reckon the baits I've chose, those colors, the fish, the water temps aren't up. The yabbies, the shrimp aren't active. I'm gonna go back to that white bait fish profile. You know, the jig hasn't got a touch. That brown crayfish pattern on that uh, mumbler, you know, hasn't had a look in. I'll go back to the white, a um, bit of olive on it, you know, bait fish presentation. See if that makes a difference. All right, here's how much fishing sucks. If you go by the moons, the almanac, all that sort of stuff, it's a 96% fishing efficiency day. It's a major bite period from 10 to 12, which I've fished through. And barometer is sitting at 10, 19. So like everything saying fish or bass should be eaten, but they're not yet. So I've gone back to that bait fish presentation, just a white trailer, olive and white mumbler. Yes, finally, yes. Oh man, that's been a long time coming. Stay on there, buddy, get out of there. Get your head out of there. Come here. <sighs> that's been a long time coming. Finally, go under bite. Just went back to that little natural, you know, pearl olive, olive white, um, yeah, mumbler. Just that, that bait fish pattern. Yeah, they don't seem to be switched on to that yabby or that cray, those darker patterns. So, yeah, I've stuck with that and it's done the trick. It's tough. You know, the only variable I can throw in there with all those other things lining up is this wind. Like, it's blowing. You know, which is, that's what's fanning all those fires across the state. But they should be chewing their heads off. You know? I've got one to bite. Fingers crossed. We'll take the confidence and we'll keep it going. It's been a long time coming, but yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Yes. Got hit as soon as it landed in there. Just grab the tail. Right, he's not coming back. Just can't rule out any little bit of water in this system. Yep, oh look at that. See what I mean? You can't rule out any pool here. <laughs> He's on a short leash. 
Hey, now the afternoon's kicked off. There you go, another little guy. Come right out of that skinny stuff. You just can't rule spots out in these little skinny creeks, you know. As long as there's a good ambush point, somewhere for a fish to hold up, you know, they'll sit in there. He's just crunched that little mumbler. Finally, the afternoon session's kicked off. Alright, so I fished up to the fence line of Old Mate's Farm and yeah, it's been tough. Like it's it's been real tough. Probably getting sick of me hearing hearing me say that, but um yeah, that's just how it is. I'm gonna start heading back down. Like I was here pretty early, you know, I fished for that midday bite period, so there's a probably you know, there's probably is a few bass in those pools that uh that I didn't get to bite, so there's a good chance I can stir one of them up on the way back. But yeah, it's uh it's only four o'clock. Afternoon bite should be well and truly underway, so just one of those days, isn't it? There should be fish all over that. Head of the pool, snags, afternoon bite. Just get eaten. Like, is it that hard? This mumbler just comes across all that submerged timber. Not a drama. Man, just saw another big red belly black sitting next to the track. Just took off. Like, I'm not phased about snakes. Nine times out of ten, they go the other way. I've had a big brown have a good sniff and a chase one time, but most of the time they head the opposite direction. But I did have a subscriber mention something about it, so I put a snake bandage in the kit today, <laughs> just in case. Platter. All right, that's the end of the session. Two fish. Worked hard for them again. That was crazy. The uh, bait of the session. Can't even get it up on there. That little 3 8 ounce mumbler. Bassman spinnerbait's mumbler. They're still, they're not, yeah, they're not switched on yet. It's still not proper summertime bite. They're not, yeah, I don't know. What do you do? Oh, right, fun. Anyway, I'll throw all that together. Uh, if you've got any questions, hit us up in the comments. You know, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you um, haven't subscribed already, you know, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Cheers for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.